Hi, I am Dr. Alper Gökçe. I am orthopedic surgeon and hand surgeon as well. I'm going to talk about on nerve entrapments at the hand and wrist. We call it carpal tunnel syndrome. First, let me explain what does it mean, the word syndrome. Clinical appearance of the same symptoms or signs may originate from different causes or reasons in clinical practice. That is the difference from a defined disease originated usually from certain causes. When you feel pain, numbness and tingling in the arm or hand, especially at the wrist, three fingers of the hand, then you may think of carpal tunnel syndrome. There is a major nerve with the name median nerve traversing through the valley between two bulk muscles of the hand responsible for sensorial and motor innervation. When median nerve get compressed under transverse carpal ligament, it can lead to nerve damage and worsening symptoms. Treatment is required to prevent permanent damage. Early on, symptoms can often be relieved with simple measures like wearing a wrist splint or avoiding certain activities. In severe cases, surgery is indicated to take pressure off the median nerve. Carpal tunnel is a narrow space like bottleneck and besides median nerve, it wraps nine other flexor tendons with dense connective tissue boundaries and doesn't have almost any capacity to stretch. These tendons are therefore to flex our four fingers, like this way. Most common reasons for carpal tunnel syndrome is keeping wrist in flexed position which may enhance compression on median nerve and rise the complaints. Use it in clinic as a test. There are tissues called synovium for lubricating the tendons and making it easier to move your fingers. When the synovium swells, it takes up a space in the carpal tunnel and over time crowds the nerve. This abnormal pressure on the nerve can result in pain, numbness, tingling and weakness in the hand. Other common causes of carpal tunnel syndromes are 1. The tunnel may congenitally small developed. That means there is not enough space for tendons and nerve. Two. Hormonal changes like pregnancy, thyroid disease, growth hormone abnormalities may cause abnormal edema in tissue which may lead excessive pressure on nerve. Disease like diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, obesity are associated with carpal tunnel syndrome. 4. Occupational or habitual issues of hand in flex positions or repetitive motions may aggravate swelling on tendons. Previous 5. Previous traumas or badly healed fractures. 6. Deposits of some certain metabolic disease. Anyway, studies show that women and older people are more likely to develop the condition. Numbness, tingling, burning and pain are main complaints and located especially in the thumb and index. Middle and half of the ring fingers. Occasionally, shock-like sensations like radiating electricity to the hand and fingers may be felt. Small percussions on volar side of the wrist can be used as a provocative test called tunnel sign. Sometimes pain or tingling that may travel up the forearm towards the shoulder. Weakness and clumsies on the hand may be seen. Patients may experience difficulties in the moments such as buttoning your clothes, dropping things due to weakness, numbness or a loss perception, awareness of where your hand is in the space. In most cases, the symptoms of carpal tunnel syndrome begin gradually without a specific injury. Many patients find that their symptoms come and go at first. However, as the condition worsens, symptoms may occur more frequently or may persist for longer periods of time. Now, treatment. In mild symptomatology, conservative modalities are preferred. Changing activities, duration or position of the hand during activities like typing will be beneficial. When this is not gonna succeed, then bracing will be useful with dictating a certain position. Also, moment restrictions is good for odema relieving. 
Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen, naproxen, diclofenac can decrease inflammatory response and truly the pressure on carpal tunnel. The medications may be taken orally or straight injections into carpal tunnel are appropriate for selected cases. Physical therapy like paraffin bed was found also useful. Diagnostic laboratory tests. EMG, electromyography is useful for assessing the severity of the disease with measuring electrical activity of median nerve. This neurophysiological test is also used as a follow-up test for treatment and for differentiating diagnosis from other diseases like neuropathies which may interfere. Visualization of carpal tunnel can be made with ultrasound or MRI for detecting space occupying the pathology. Surgery is successful treatment option in most cases, which may perform through open or endoscopic techniques. Clinical results of both techniques are revealed with similar success rates. Transverse carpal ligament is released with surgery aiming the decompression and space gain for adequate circulation for the nerve. For most patients, surgery will improve the symptoms of carpal tunnel syndrome. Recovery, however, may be gradual and complete recovery may take up to several months. Aftercare of the surgery is usually well tolerated. Immediately following surgery, I recommend elevation of the hand above the heart level and cold back application. I encourage my patients to move their fingers to reduce swelling and prevent stiffness. However, some pain, swelling and stiffness may be after procedure, minor soreness, in palm may last for several weeks to several months. Grip and pitch strength usually return gradually by about two to three months after surgery. Hand may be used for a light activities with taking care to avoid significant discomfort. Driving, self-care activities and light lifting and gripping are permitted after surgery up to severity of the symptomatology. I will talk with you about when you able to return to work and whether you will have any restrictions on your work activities. In most cases, carpal tunnel surgery is done on an outpatient basis. The surgery can be done under general anesthesia, which puts you to sleep, or under local anesthesia, which numbs just your hand and arm. In some cases, you will also be given a light sedative through an intravenous and lying inserted into a vein in your arm. Although complications are possible with any surgery, medical is preparing for the surgery and assessing the medical conditions will minimize the risks. The most common complications are uh, met after carpal tunnel release are bleeding, infection, nerve aggravation or injury. There is no need any concerns. Please come and be treated. Have a nice day.